Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Wednesday, night day of May 2018 and this is the daily report for gold and silver. Fractional moves in the precious metals markets with gold trading slightly lower down about 90 cents. Currently fixed at 13.12.80. Silver up about 4 cents at 16.51. And that is all in light of a dollar, which has been both lower and higher, currently unchanged at 92.95. A nice rally in U.S. equities, Dow Jones Industrial Average, closing up about 182 points to settle at 24,542. And modest moves to the upside in Bitcoin futures, 92.35 and 92.40 in the CBOE and CME futures exchanges. Traders, we do have gold trading fractionally lower, in essence unchanged, currently at 13.1290. That puts it down about 80 cents on the day. However, we do have to acknowledge that in trading overseas last night, we did see gold trade to a lower low than the previous day. We can see the previous day's low here. And the fact of the matter is, for just a brief moment, gold prices dipped below that critical 200 day moving average before recovering and moving back to the unchanged territory. This marks three days in which we have had nominal movement, but each day has been marred by slightly lower pricing in gold. And traders, as we spoke about in our opening letter today, as well as multiple articles over the last three weeks, it's all been about dollar strength. And in fact, when we look at the dollar index from its lows that came in mid-February to this new high achieved today, the dollar index has gained a little bit over 5% in just under three months of trading. At the same time, we have seen gold pricing decline by about 3.8%, which means that in essence, gold has risen 1.2% until we add the dollar factor or dollar strength. At some point, the dollar will run its course. We will see this current rally conclude and a correction follow. We did have the dollar index trading lower for the better part of the day, but is currently trading up 0.017 points, a fractional gain, just as we are witnessing a fractional decline currently in gold pricing. Our major resistance that we are looking for in the dollar comes in at around 93.50. That is still a good half a percent from current pricing, but we do have an area in which this market could stall and begin to correct. Therefore, traders, my recommendation is to maintain our current long position in gold and to maintain our current stop. Over the last couple of trading days, we have tested these recent lows by our 200 day moving average. And because of that, I am reluctant to raise our stop just yet. Silver is also trading in a tight range and over the last three trading days has had a very small gap between the open and closing daily price. The key as far as I'm concerned is to effectively witness silver close above its 50-day moving average, and to accomplish this, it will necessitate dollar weakness. And traders, lastly, a small move in Bitcoin futures, currently up about $55, trading at $9,290. We can see that current support seems to be holding, which is at 91.77. That is a 23% retracement. Although we had a low that came in just below that, the market did open at that price point and is currently trading well above that. And traders, this retracement is from a fairly large data set accounting from the record high price in Bitcoin futures at $20,000 per coin, all the way down to the recent lows at 6,000, the lowest price Bitcoin has traded to since futures contracts began to trade in December of last year. Traders, as I spoke about in my opening letter, it is all about the dollar and following the money. As long as the dollar has remained strong, we have seen the precious metals markets come under pressure. In doing some quick calculations, we actually determined that aside from the dollar, gold has actually gained about 1.2% in value since mid-February of this year. 
So it's simply a matter of if and when, more importantly, the dollar begins to weaken and it moves into a corrective stage. Because at that point, gold and silver will certainly benefit. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.